sports works in mysterious ways. In sports, nothing is good or lasts forever. Every great athlete digresses and retires. Every great team loses pieces and digresses. Every great sport sees another new sport trumpet. And the New York football giants are an example of all three. Or just two of them, actually. The New York Giants have hit the bottom of the sea. Rock bottom. And it's really unbelievable. To watch this team and think that just two years ago, not even two years ago from today, me, Eric PABC, Cop Pizzle, and a ton of us other Giants fans were celebrating a championship. And here I am, and here we are, Less than two years later, declaring that the Giants have hit rock bottom. Now, I watched most of the game against the Carolina Panthers on Sunday. And let me tell you, I have watched over 1,000 sporting events, maybe even more than 2,000 of my favorite teams in my lifetime. I have never seen a team of mine perform that badly on the scale of who they were playing in history. I have never seen a performance like the Giants put up on Sunday against the Panthers. And let me just say now, props to the Panthers, the Panthers fans on here, NFL Panthers 07, uh, the voice and the rest of you guys, congratulations, man. You really needed the first win of the season, and you got it. But to the Giants, something has to give. The This team may not be where they used to be. We may not be where we used to be. But it is still not acceptable to lose 38 to nothing against the Carolina Panthers a team that put up single digits week 1 and a team that lost to the Bills week 2 No one on the Giants performed against the Panthers. No one. Eli sucked. Running game sucked. That goes for you, Wilson. Anyone that stood in the backfield sucked. Probably because the offensive line had the worst performance I think I've ever seen an offensive line have. You let your quarterback get sacked six times in the first half? How? How? How do you expect to beat good teams? How do you expect to beat mediocre teams? This is a mediocre team we just played and got absolutely battered. For lack of a better word. I 
I don't even know what to say anymore. I don't even know what to say. Our starters are 22 guys that put the jersey on in the mor- in, at the, before the game. In the afternoon before the game. And before they look at the before they put on the jersey where they look at, they don't look at the NY, the New York, the Giants logo on the front of the chest. All they care about is the name on the back of their chest. Oh, I'm accomplished. I've I made it. I've arrived. I'm a success. We had Akeem Nix. Coming out and saying, oh, I can't catch the ball if it's not thrown to me. When two weeks ago, less against the Broncos, there he is on a key third down, wide open, dropping the ball. How about you shut up and play the game? You got Jason Pierre-Paul and Justin Tuck. That should be some of the best pressure off the edge in the league. And what do we get? Bullshit from those two. We have an offensive line that we addressed in the draft. Put Pugue on that offensive line. We have Will B on the left side. We signed him to a franchise contract. No, not a franchise tag. A franchise contract. And all they can muster... Is 18 yards in the first half. This is a disgrace. I'm embarrassed. They should be embarrassed. Every Giants fan is embarrassed. And frankly, we should get some sort of credit for even making these videos. Because this is terrible. This is awful. And you might say that every team goes through a terrible time like this. But this is New York. You've been given the money. You've been given the talent. We put talented players on the field. Our talent is not 0-3 worthy. And it's definitely not worthy of losing 38-0 to to a team that lost to the Bills less than two weeks ago today. We need help. We need help. And at this point, maybe it is good that we get the fourth or fifth pick and draft Anthony Barr at linebacker. Maybe it is good that we get the tenth or so pick and draft a running back. Maybe. Because the Giants are in serious trouble. All I ask... It's not that you win out. Not even that you make the playoffs, even though I still think it's possible and I still think I still want us to. It's not like I'm going to stop rooting and, and stop believing. But all I want is to not be embarrassed like I was this week. To come out and put total confidence in you guys to win. And not only do you lose, you lose 38 to nothing. We lose 38 to nothing. And I won't say we, you. I'll say we, so I always say we. We lost 38 to to nothing, to the Carolina Panthers. Once again, props to them. Tomorrow's hate week video on the Chiefs. I don't even know how I'm gonna go through it. How how what am I gonna what what stats am I gonna use for this? What what information am I gonna use? What makes me think that we can beat the Chiefs? I'll have to start looking. Other than that. That's my video. Leave a like, leave a comment. I don't really care at this point. Something has to change. Something major. And that's all I have to say.